Convertible laptops often arrive with more efficient hardware with a wattage of 15 or 28 watts. However, here comes the ASUS VivoBook S14 Flip OLED, which totally flips the market. Not only does it bring powerful 45 watt processors, but it also has an OLED panel, which is as good as it gets when it comes to displays. The first thing we noticed, the laptop includes an ASUS pen in the box, along with a charging cable and replaceable tips. In terms of build quality, the VivoBook uses a metal lid and a plastic base, both of which show a good degree of flex resistance. As for the design, we see a quality anodized finish on the lid with a VivoBook plaque. The base has diamond cut edges and corners, which give it a flagship appearance. It's also covered in an antibacterial material, keeping the area of the keyboard, base, and fingerprint reader sterile and hygienic. Portability is quite good, as the laptop weighs only 1.5 kilograms and has a profile of 18.9 millimeters. The lid of the VivoBook opens easily with one hand, revealing a keyboard that feels pretty good to type on, as the feedback is very clicky while the key travel is long enough. There's also a backlight for you night owls. The power button features a hidden fingerprint reader, while the touchpad includes the well-known LED illuminated number pad, which gives you a numpad whenever you need it. As for tracking and gliding, the pad works well, offering good responsiveness. On the sides, the left houses only a single full-sized USB 2.0 port. This leaves all of the rest on the right, which consists of an HDMI 2.0 port, one full-sized and one Type-C 10 gigabit USB port, and an audio jack. The Type-C port can be used for charging, supplying up to 100 watts. In other aspects of connectivity, the VivoBook comes with Wi-Fi 6, so you're getting the best possible connection, regardless of the network. Now, let's move to the display section, where we see thin bezels, except for the bottom, where ASUS has placed its logo. The top one has a full HD webcam and a physical shutter for extra privacy. The VivoBook has extra trickery up its sleeves, with AI noise cancelling software for when there's ambient noise during your meetings. For the main event, we have a 2.8K OLED panel with a 90Hz refresh rate and a wickedly quick 3 millisecond response time, so using the laptop feels very smooth and responsive. However, that's not all, as the display also reaches 400 nits of brightness and fully covers the sRGB and DCI-P3 color gamuts. The panel covers excellent color accuracy thanks to the Pantone validation, with a Delta E value 1.2 in the sRGB gamut and of 1.3 in the DCI-P3 gamut. However, there is some PWM usage up to 85 nits. If you feel annoyed by it and want it gone for good, our HealthGuard profile will take care of it while keeping the accuracy intact. We'll leave a link to buy it in the description below. Despite the 45 watt H series processors, we get up to 10 hours and 35 minutes of web browsing or 9 hours and 43 minutes of video playback from the 70 watt hour battery pack and the Ryzen 5 5600H, a CPU known for its efficiency. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. Yes, we've chosen the 5600H for our tests, which is a pretty good CPU, while not being as fast as the Core i7s and Ryzen 7s out there. Of course, you can buy this machine with the more competitive Ryzen 7 5800H, getting two extra cores and four more threads. Some good news is that the laptop will be offered with U-series CPUs as well. Two heat pipes and one fan have the job to keep the CPU running under high load. We've tested a lot of Ryzen's, and they often run at high temperatures. That is also the case today. The 5600H reaches 99 degrees Celsius. The frequencies are not bad though. We are excited to see the U-series here since we expect much lower temperatures from them while still having good performance. When it comes to comfort, you can hardly hear any noise or feel excess heat from the chassis. Aiming an IR camera at the base shows a hotspot of only 40 degrees Celsius. You'd be pleased to know that the VivoBook carries one RAM and one storage slot for DDR4 memory and Gen3 SSDs respectively. 
it also has up to 8 gigabytes soldered onto the motherboard. We'll link our teardown video down below, which shows how to access both the RAM and storage slots of the VivoBook S14 Flip OLED. While employing last-gen hardware, the VivoBook S14 Flip OLED is competitive among its peers, and the OLED display is a treat to look at. The Ryzen 7 processors deliver power and efficiency as well as offer long battery life. Oh, and let's not forget the ASUS pen that you're getting, which allows your creativity to shine. Excellent for artists of all types. You should definitely go over our written review, which we have on our website, for more information about the laptop, including further tests and benchmark results.